So, welcome. Let's take a tour on my CNC. I'm more or less uh, done with all the work. It's a Bulkman, one by one meter. And uh, I use some quite nice stepper motors. There was uh, stepper motors in the kit, but I had these very nice uh, ATC motors, uh, which are uh, comes from Germany. Um, I also have the spindle, and it's a 1.5 kilowatt spindle, approximately equal to to uh, around two horsepower. So I also have added home switches on the X and the Y and the Z. It's only here at the Z axis I use the limit switch as a home switch also. And that's possible with the DDCS uh, uh, version 3.1 uh, controller. You can use the limit switch as home as well. Um, so we have a waste port. And for that waste port, I have drilled a lot of holes. I have been printing clamps, which I found on uh, Thinkerverse. Uh, this is, they're quite nice. And I also constructed my own dust collector. And I will add this uh, Thinkiverse. I hope it will be done when I upload this one. And I 3D printed everything for that one. Added magnets. And it really works great. That's how it looks. And uh, yeah, it's uh, not taking so much space because I, I, I did buy them because I was too lazy to make one. But I did buy one first. But this was really a big and bulky and clunky uh, design. So, and it could not fit behind here uh, because it took too much space because of this one. So I could not fit on the spindle. And I did not want the spindle to come laying out, uh, further out. So I designed this one, added magnets to it, and a clamp here, my, my uh, dust remover. And uh, yeah, but uh, this hose will come up from behind and go and move over here. I also have added a small thing here for uh, this means I know exactly which collet I have in the spindle and it is an ER16 spindle. I normally use the G54 coordinate system and uh, but I use the home switches to home when I use the, the to calibrate the set axis. So 95% of all my constructions are uh, the repair point at the bottom of the item. And that's because I have made from an old switch here, I have made uh, uh, a, a set probe which is totally planned with the waste board. And this works, matter of fact, very, very, very well. And uh, when I, and I will just take off the clamps here and uh, take off the dust shoe. So, and that means when I have been running the, the home cyclers and everything has gone home, it knows exactly uh, where, where zero is and that will be over here. And then it knows exactly in the G53 grid because that's uh, the coordinate system it's using when when you use the fixed uh, position so it will look like and we will go probe here now so and it's uh, probe to the surface of the waste board so the next thing for for probing as well is this uh, little bolt there and I only use this for when when I 
I have an item uh, normally I use from the center when I do carving but here it could be that I need to start exactly at the center and then I use this and it will probe from the set and then it goes out on the X and go in and touch here and it goes in out here on the Y and will go in and touch here. So uh, that is everything about the probing here. Um, my dust shoe it fits really great. Let's uh, take it up there and it's covered really, really nice. All the electronics is also uh, made by me. Um, everything is uh, connected and I'm absolutely not a pro, so uh, it is more or less my, my own design. But as you can see here, it's inside here, everything. Uh, on this outlet here and inside in that box here there is uh, an SSR relay who uh, can be activated between 3 to, to 32 volts I think it is and uh, this is controlled by the M9 and M8 command so if I now go down and turn this on you can see this button here, it's uh, uh, for dust cleaning. The M8 is not active, so it shut off everything. But let me active it and you will hear the, the vacuumizer starts to, to clean. So, and everything around here. And let's uh, turn it off. And the same with the spindle is controlled by the M3 and M M5. So, uh, to the right of the dust cleaning button, you have the panel for the VFD. I do not use the panel, only if I want to reprogram it or something like that, because everything is controlled by G-code. Uh, the spindle speed, uh, all this is by G-code, at the start and the stop of the spindle as well. Then I have a button here for uh, stepper motors, and sometimes it's handy to to cut off the power to the stepper motors because uh, you need to adjust or something like that. Could be several reasons for that. Then it's a main power, uh, 220 volts. And here, of course, I have an emergency stop and I have for the USB key. And here is for two uh, fans. If it's become hot, there will be a temperature measure here. If it becomes hot in the summer, it's not a problem in the winter, but in the summer, this room can be very hot. Then I can activate these two fans here, which pulls in the air and take it out here at the bottom. On the power inlet here, we have connected a EFI relay. So I remove all the interference that could come uh, into, into this power line. So everything should run smooth as possible. And last but not least, I have my, uh, my uh, air pump here for, uh, for the air assist. If it's necessary, I, there's only one why I built in the air assist is that I someday I want to experiment uh, uh, a little bit on making PC, PCP boards. BCP boards and uh, for that it would be nice with some air assist that just blows the, the copper away. Uh, the last thing is uh, I have a wireless uh, keyboard as well. And uh, why do I have that? Well, this means I can make uh, small adjustments on, let me take here, uh, small adjustments on On my G codes, and uh, as you can see here, I can scroll through, and I can work on it and save it and continue run as an example, or find the next spot where I want to run from. So, so, um, so it's possible, but only for minor, minor work. Uh, yeah. Well, that's it. So, uh, it's time to do some carving now. But before that. I want to remove my dust remover on the other side so I get the, the pipe coming up 
from behind. And I will make some device for that. See you another day, another time. Bye bye. Oops, wait, 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 wait. I of course also have a pendant with an emergency switch. That means that I can control, I can control with, with this wheel, the X, Y and the Z axis. And it makes it easier for me to go more precise if I need to center um, the tool uh, somewhere. So, uh, I, well, that should be everything. Enjoy the weekend. Bye-bye.